Big Cass, when I came that week, went, yo, you're that kid from Barstool, bro. Dude, pleasure to meet you, bro. And I'm a Yankees fan, so I'm wearing a Yankees hat. And we start talking Yankees. And now, you know, how you doing? How about them Yankees? We start talking Yankees baseball. You know what I'm saying? Right. So we hit it off. He came, he was kind, open, open. Guys like Juice Robinson who had to work me on that on that match hated me. And then I just came in there and do this promo and everybody's like, fuck this guy. But Big Cash is like, that guy's getting signed. Telling everybody, that guy's getting signed. I bet that guy gets signed. So then four months later, five months later, I show up July 1st. WWE puts me with a roommate. Don't know who he is. Never met him before. Ends up being Mojo Raleigh. Great guy. Love Mojo. Don't have a bad thing to say about Mojo. What a great guy. And uh, me and Mojo hit it off. Mojo is best friends with Gronkowski. Yep. Gronk plays for the Patriots. Gronk buys a house in Tampa Bay, Florida, and Mojo moves out and moves in with Gronk. Then I get this guy named Ozzy Cherry from Africa with an English accent. Moved from Africa to England, had this tie of both accents, and he was freaking wild. <laughs> And he comes and lives with me. Now I'm living with this guy, bro. So I get signed and I go down there. And the first week we're there, the Yankees play the Tampa Bay Devil Rays. And I go to Big Cass. I'm new. I don't know nobody. I'm, I'm like, I got no, no advice. Uh, I don't know nothing about the business. I go to Big Cass, you want to go to Yankee game? And he's like, yeah. So we go to Yankee game. And I look around quickly and I'm like, this ain't freaking Yankee Stadium, bro. They ain't got no security here. <laughs> I go, why the hell would we sit in these $10 seats? So me and Cass walk straight down to the dugout and put our elbows on the away dugout. And the Yankees are walking in and out the whole time. And we're screaming at Jeter and A-Rod and taking videos that I still have to this day. And we're mind so We went through eight innings before a freaking, finally, a security guard comes up to us and goes, are these your seats? And I'm like, nope. Right. Thanks, bro. And the Yankees won. How you doing? And, uh, you know, from there on, you're a green guy in the business. You know nothing about wrestling. And this big guy that's seven foot tall sees money in you. And he knows everything about the business. And he knows everything about wrestling. And he lives with Dean Ambrose. Cass, I owed a lot to, bro. The guy, and he, he welcomed me into his crew a little bit. I won them over quickly. Right. Became homies with a lot of guys. And they appreciated and respected the fact that I never pretended to know shit. Never. Ever. And, you know, I remember at the beginning stages of the WWE, me and Mojo, mind you, are in the same boat. Difference being, I was on a moving truck. And the guys that I came in with, there was 20 of us. The only ones that made it are Mojo, who played in the NFL, Baron Corbin, who played in the NFL, Charlotte Flair, Ric Flair's daughter, and Enzo Amore for the moving truck. 